All right, what is up you guys? Hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Replacing that clutch and flywheel, I'm not sure if I said it in the video. It was just really fun to me. Um, at times a little bit stressful, but all in all, it was really fun and I'm not really worried about taking my motor out of my car anymore. I know what to disconnect and what needs to go where now, so I don't really, uh, I'm not really stressing it anymore. Long story short, the point I was trying to make with that is, uh, don't be afraid to do what you want to do and don't be afraid to go for your dreams. I mean, you're never going to know if you can do it until you actually do it, so. As you can see, I'm in a whole garage. Sabrina's in here, looking like she's about to get worked on. And I have all my tools and everything in here, which obviously means I moved. And obviously I didn't really tell you guys about it or really like mention it that much because I haven't really been putting much of my life on YouTube, just more of what I've been doing with the car and whatnot. But I do want to start to get a little bit more like, you know, personal with you guys and just like kind of pick up the camera and just record a day of like, you know, whatever I'm doing, whether it's me driving around or just going to get coffee, something like that. But let me know what you guys want to see and I'll, you know, do my best to put it out there for you. Sabrina decided to break the place in by leaving the first stain in the garage. So I let my dad back my car in yesterday into the garage and literally the moment he shut it off, I looked and as we were closing the door, I saw fluid down there and I was like, well, it looks like oil maybe. And then I touched it, it smelled like power steering, it was red. So I'm just gonna try to change this hose right here because the whole reservoir itself is in good condition. This, this hose right over here is completely dry on the bottom, there's no leakage. It's simply just from this one hose right there. All right, under it, it feels like maybe it might, might have not just been pushed in all the way, but also it's an old hose that should be rubber, but literally feels like plastic, so I'm just gonna replace it anyways. And, um, the, you know, there's a decent amount of fluid in there also, so I mean, I don't know. I, I have no idea what, what happened. I'm just gonna try to push it in a little bit more and hopefully that fixes my problem. I did get extra hose and also some more fluid just in case, like, you know, there is an actual issue and I need to replace it for real. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, after some more careful inspection, it doesn't really look like there is any problem down there, so I have no idea what happened. I think maybe it might have been the fact that I like overfilled it, and so maybe there was too much in there, and maybe that's what spilled out. Like, actually, let me check the top, see if there's any. Ah, oh, but the top's like, well, there's like residue on it, but that's also from prior to this, so I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I guess I'll try to start it, and then see where it leaks from. Listen to every time I turn the wheel though, ready? But I don't understand why it's doing that because it's not, it's not leaking from anywhere. I think I might just have to get a new power steering pump. But that's bullshit <laughs> because I just replaced that one not too long ago, like maybe like two, two and a half months ago. Granted, that one is still used. It's not brand, brand new. So maybe I'll just stop cheaping out and get a brand new one. As I said at the beginning of the video, I want to try to make my videos more lifelike. So not just, oh, well, I'm installing this car or I'm going to this car meet. I'm doing this car related thing. Of course, the car is going to be on the channel, but I want to do more just like daily stuff. So um, you're going to see a lot of that too. Um, it might, like I said, it might not be every day, but you know, whenever I, I see a chance to make a video, whether it's just driving or teaching you something like how to drive a stick again. <laughs> Looks like we need a new power steering pump, Sabrina. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, well, we'll get that when we can in the process of doing life stuff. So it might have to wait a little bit, but won't be too long. Also wanted to show you guys, I caught the uh, 04 to 05 lights. These are the ones I actually wanted because of the bubble that's right here. I wanted to do the uh, JDM taillight mod that I mentioned back in that air oil separator video. However, I ended up grabbing these 06 to 07s thinking I could do the same thing. And clearly, those are not even the same layout really. And for those of you guys who don't know what the JDM taillight mod is, it's basically where that bubble is at. It'll be your daytime running light. The rest of your lights will be off. And it looks like kind of just like a set of eyes behind you. It's pretty dope. But yeah, sorry for the short video. Um, I'll try to get something out for you guys, you know, sooner rather than later. I can't make any promises, but hope you guys enjoy the little quick update. And uh, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want for more content. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace. There's one more thing I do want to check. Um, I actually just loosened my belt a little bit because I realized that it might have been a little bit too tight. And real quick, just for you guys who don't know, because I just found out 
uh, like literally right now to check the tension of like all your belts and stuff it's pretty easy all you're gonna want to do is make sure that you can twist the belt like uh, 90 degrees like this if it's too loose and you're able to like you know fully maneuver it then it's too loose if there's no play at all and you're not able to do this at all that means it's too tight mine actually still might be too tight but I'm gonna try it like this and hopefully hopefully it fixes that problem Okay. Anyways, I'm going to end this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Like I said, the message is peace, love, and positivity all life long.